severe judgment upon this land. We must repent of our sin. We must come back to God. This country was built on the Bible. This country has the Bible in its courtroom. We've had the Bible in our education system. The Bible has played a major role in our society. We have a Christian heritage that we are walking away from year by year. In fact, we started to run from it. But what are we running to? That's the question. If you run from Jesus, where are you going to run to? Are you going to run to communism? Are you going to run to Buddhism? Are you going to run to Islam? It's going to end up somewhere because the only place to go outside of Jesus Christ is a wrong place. Islam is wrong. Buddhism is wrong. Communism is wrong. The only way to go, friends, is Christ. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Friends, today I'm talking to you about the end of an age because we have arrived here. We're living at a time that Jesus spoke about in Matthew 24. It's time to get serious with God. It's time to repent of your sin and put away your flags. It's time to put on righteousness and put on Christ. Why is it today, friends, that we're living in times like these? Because God's Son is coming back to this world. Jesus Christ left the planet after he had came as the suffering servant as foretold by Isaiah. But he's coming back as a conquering king. He's coming back to destroy sin and unrighteousness. And he's coming back to rule the nations. Yes, Jesus is the King of Kings and Jesus is the Lord of Lords. The Bible says to me that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. If you're going to bow the knee, bow the knee to the one life that really matters. Do you know what life really matters? Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ is the best life ever lived. The Lord Jesus Christ loves you, sir. Even though you hate him today, he still loves you. And he wants to forgive you. And he wants you to repent of your sin and believe in him. The Bible says today, everyone who repents of their sins receives forgiveness of sins and eternal life from God the Father through God the Son. Yes, sir, today life is eternal, but there's two destinations for souls. One is up and the other is down. In Luke chapter 16, the Lord Jesus Christ told us about a heaven and he told us about a hell. Friend, today we're here because we want you to go to heaven. The Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross that you might go to his heaven. The Lord Jesus Christ didn't hate you, he loved you. And the Lord Jesus Christ came. I can't let you talk, sir. I'm preaching the gospel. The Lord Jesus Christ came into this world to save people from their sins. There's many people in Belfast today can say they've been saved from their sins. Many homosexuals have been saved from a homosexual lifestyle. Many drunkards have been saved from a drunken lifestyle many violent and aggressive people have been saved from a violent lifestyle many religious people have been saved from living a religious yes friends today there's two ways to go you can be a religious sinner or a reckless sinner i was a reckless sinner maybe you're a religious sinner maybe you're going to chapel every sunday maybe you're going to church every sunday but you're not going to christ all your religion is is hypocrisy you're a nice suit of clothes on you on a sunday or a nice dress but during the week you're like a demon during the week you're still the same old you you still live in your sin instead of living for his son yes sir today there's many people going to hell from the pews but today friend we're telling you not about a religion but about a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ the Lord Jesus is the best lover and he loves you so much that he died for you on the cross why would you not want a relationship with that kind of love I got, I got he is the Lord he didn't just walk the yeah. he walked the walk uh, the Lord Jesus <laughs> walked into this sin cursed planet he walked through it for 30 years and then he was willing and glad to die on the cross the the Bible says, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, he despised the shame. Why? Because he loved his people and he wanted to save his people from their sins. Friend, you might be here today, God's love might be looking into your heart, but you're saying no to God. You're sticking your finger up at the Most High, but friend, today God still holds out his hands. We identify Jesus because of the marks of love. He has nail prints in his hand, nail prints in his feet, a hole in his side to prove that he loves humanity, to prove
prove that he's the hardest man that ever lived. Do you know how hard Jesus was? As hard as nails. He was as hard as nails. Oh, is that joke, you?